Hello again, everybody. Today we're going to discuss power lock doors. Power lock means that obviously it's working by electronically, <clears throat> as a, as opposed to manually. So we're going to now go and we're going to go and explore what goes on. Whenever we have power doors, we need a few things. We need switches to lock and unlock, as you see, and we need motors. Also, we need something called body control module, which is a module, as I specified before, <coughs> that controls the accessories. And this is a proof, because the B BCM, as it's called or referred to, is controlling the power lock doors, or lights, headlamps, and other accessories, seat belts. If you remember my other video, I specified PCM, power control module, is related to anything engine performance. But BCM has to do with accessories, and here's the proof. If you see over here, there's a remote. I can open and close the doors by remote. When I'm doing that, I'm transmitting something. When you transmit something, that means you have to have a receiver to accept the signal. Here's our receiver right here. Right here. We need a battery, 12 volts, we need a ground, and then when it takes this signal, feeds it to body control module, and that will unlock the doors, and lock the doors. Now, Let's look a little, this is a very complicated schematic, very complicated, but we'll take it piece by piece. We'll look over here at the BCM. What's the possible, all possible options? Well, the driver can open his door and he can open and close all the other doors, like a master switch. That's number one. The passenger can go and open and unlock his door and lock his door and other doors. If you see that some, sometimes the Fords have that, that the passenger also has the ability to also close the doors like a master switch in the rear also. So therefore, the driver has the ability to, to again, to lock and unlock all the doors. Let's see if this proves correct. As we said, we need a switch. We need fuses. If you notice over here, three fuses. One, B+, plus. anywhere it says B+, plus means it's coming from a fuse. Another B+, plus from a 20 amp fuse, more amps, another B+. Plus. Another one goes to remote that we just spoke about, the receiver module. Now, to reiterate or to specify, BCM, body control module, can have in it more than one module. This is just, this is just a rough block diagram as we refer to it in electronics. It's a block diagram. We don't know what's in here. But I can sure tell you one thing. We have two fuses. Why do we need two fuses to feed B+. My assumption is one is they have a module over here for locking and a module here for unlocking. Look at the fuse. One fuse says door lock. That's this one, feeding this one. That tells me it's feeding a module that's responsible for locking the doors. Why don't we have a fuse for unlocking the doors? Well, probably this is the other one responsible for it. Why do we need two fuses? I can only come to that assumption. There are a bunch of modules here, maybe transistors, modules. We don't know. There's a block diagram. But you have to use what you have in front of you and try to use educated guesses. Now, as we said over here, we need switches. Driver, door lock switch. This is for the driver's side. Unlock and lock. In this position, in the green position, we're unlocking. The driver is unlocking. Other position in the pink, we're locking. The driver is locking. What about the passenger? Passenger also has a switch. In the green position, he's unlocking. In a pink position, 
He's locking. Passenger door lock switch. He's unlocking and locking. This should be unlock and lock. So we know we know what they're capable of doing, the passenger and the driver. Let's see how the body control module reacts. Here's our input. I'm the driver. I want to close all the doors. And I want I want to close it and I want to unlock all the doors. Let's see how it would happen. First we need an input. If you look over here, driver unlock switch in. The other one is the orange black wire. Other one is driver lock switch in. A red and black wire. Where do these go to? Well, let's look. Right here. Unlock switch in. One side of it, one branch of it, goes to the unlock side, the green one. Let's follow the other branch. The other branch goes to unlock for passenger door also okay so unlock for driver and unlock for passenger okay what about the other for locking same idea door lock we follow this one we're locking the doors for the driver now the driver wants to lock for the passenger follow the other branch here it is right here. He's locking for the passenger. And this is just a bulb inside to tell you. So if you understand that, you'll understand basically the concepts. I'm going to make another video. I hope you tune to my channel of Automotive Electronics Schematics by Joseph and please subscribe to it. I'm very thankful for the views I've been getting and the feedbacks on my email. I'm very uh, uh, very appreciative of everything that I have. Thank you so much. And I'll continue this video, part two.